Finding your personal style is much easier than you think and what it really comes down to is feeling comfortable and confident in your clothing. So your personal style should be a reflection of your lifestyle and how you want to present yourself infused with style aesthetics that you actually like to wear. Sounds pretty straightforward, right? So how come so many people still struggle with this particular topic? I find that most of us actually already know what we like and don't like. The problem is bringing it to life and applying it to our daily lives. That's why I'm going to give you a guide of actionable steps that you can take to find your personal style and a plan of how you can make it a reality. Hi, if you don't know me, my name is Marie and my videos are all about making fashion make sense so that you can dress better every single day. If that sounds good to you, make sure to subscribe and follow my socials linked below for daily fashion inspiration. Now let's get into the video. So I want to start this off by talking about what personal style actually is and why I think you should have one, just so you guys kind of know my standpoint and what the goal of this video is going to be, because I think that is going to make this feel less intimidating and less overwhelming if I kind of just share my mindset on this. So a personal style is an expression of individuality that isn't defined by trends or imitating others. Personal style is tailored by your likes and dislikes, but it's also based what's suitable for your lifestyle and what flatters you the most. I think that you should have a personal style to eliminate impulse shopping and overconsumption of trends, but also just in general to avoid buying things that you're not going to wear in the long run. Because by having a personal style, you can make sure that you're curating a closet that you actually love and know that you're going to wear. It can also make style styling and putting together outfits much easier for your daily life, but also for special occasions, especially when you start to know your style really well. But having a personal style is not just practical, it's also about self-expression and your style can become an extension of your personality. There are also studies about how dressing in a way that resonates with you can enhance mood and increase positive emotions. It also plays a huge role in fostering a positive body image, because wearing clothes that make us feel comfortable and attractive can really improve our self-esteem and body confidence. So there are many different ways in how you can find your personal style. You can, for example, identify your body shape and find out how to best dress for your body type, or you can try to find out which colors suit your complexion. But in this video, I'm going to focus less on those technical things and more on the feeling and how you can identify your personal preferences. So basically how to find your personal style that you feel comfortable and confident in to wear every day, and how to identify your likes and dislikes in certain clothing so that you can find the proper inspiration and create a plan for how to bring your personal style to life. So now I want to talk about the mistakes that I find that most people do when they try to find their personal style and I think one of the top ones is trying to create a personal style for your fantasy self rather than for your real actual self. And that's why it's so important to identify and be honest about your lifestyle so that you can see what you actually need your clothes for. Because I know it's super fun to look for cute going out tops, skirts and dresses, but if you realistically only go out once a week or even less, then going out close shouldn't be a major part of your closet. The same goes for shoes, which is one of the biggest mistakes that I have personally made, and that is buying a bunch of going out heels rather than to invest in sneakers, which I actually wear every day. I actually think I have double as many heels as I have sneakers, and those heels I can only wear in summer by the way. So let that be a lesson for you and really think about what your lifestyle looks like, and then rank your priorities. So for example, if you spend most of your time at work, then that's your priority number one. Then maybe priority number two is comfortable clothes for chilling at home. And priority number three could be clothes for the gym. And priority number four is evening wear for going out to party, having drinks, or dinner with friends. So depending on how your priority list looks, this is what your wardrobe should also reflect. If it doesn't, your personal style is going to feel really unbalanced because you don't have a solid base to work with. But don't worry if this is an issue that you have, by the end of this video you're going to know exactly how to fix it. Another mistake that I find that many people make is that when they try to find their personal style they get really excited and go way out of their comfort zone. Of course it's always fun to try new styles and aesthetics and if you have the confidence to wear it I would definitely say that you should go for it. But if you're someone who's struggling with your personal style because you haven't really developed a sense of what feels good on you yet, then I would definitely suggest to stick what feels comfortable in the beginning. Personal style doesn't have to be extravagant, super unique, never done before outfits. My personal style, for example, is very basic, but it's what I feel good and the most confident in. So make sure that you know your limits so that you create a personal style for your actual real self and not for your fantasy self. Like for example, let's say you're insecure about 
your shoulders for example then wearing off shoulder tops like this one might not be for you but you can still appreciate how it looks but know that it's not something that needs to be incorporated to your own closet because confidence is not something that can be taught overnight it is a journey and a process and it will take time so until you feel perfectly confident and wearing off shoulder tops stick to and wear what you feel confident and comfortable in right now it's perfectly okay to appreciate certain styles and aesthetics but still realize that they're not for you or realize that maybe it's something that you want to wear in the future but you're not quite there yet but then how do you know if something is actually for you well, I have a three-step action plan that you can start today with clothes that you already have So the first step is what I just said starting with what you already have Step two is to take what you've learned about yourself and your style from your own closet to find inspiration and continue to build upon your personal style And step three will be to actually bring your personal style to life So let's start with step number one and start with what you already have So the first thing that I would do is to play dress up with the clothes I already own and the reason why we're starting with your your own closet first is to avoid building a style for your fantasy self which can really easily happen if you start with looking online instead of starting with your own closet but it's also about figuring out what you actually typically wear on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can start to trust your own intuition of what styles you typically gravitate towards so instead of getting stuck in the fantasy world of fashion we'll focus on what you actually wear in real life by taking an evening playing some music and putting together outfits of clothes that you already have a good idea is to take pictures so that you can remember them and easily grab them whenever you're on the go I would create at least three to four outfits for different occasions for example you could create an outfit for work for going out for a chill dinner and so on just try to imagine different scenarios of what you repeatedly find yourself in and then try to put together the best outfits that you've ever put together with what you already have you can also develop one or a few different outfit uniforms and an outfit uniform is essentially an outfit combination that you can wear on repeat in different variations I think the most prominent example is Steve Jobs with his turtleneck jeans and sneakers but it is actually something that a lot of celebrities who are considered the most fashionable do and this is also how you can develop your signature style so memorize them and know exactly where you can find them in your wardrobe these are going to be your go-to outfits that you can always rely on to feel and look your best I'm not going to go too much into detail on this because I'm already planning a video all about outfit uniforms and how you can put together one how you can find one that is best suited for you if it's already out I will link it in the screen somewhere and in the description below so that you can watch it but basically just try to get to know your closet a bit better that's the main goal of step one and identify your best and most favorite outfits then I want you to have a test week or two where you apply these outfits to your actual daily life and see what you tend to reach for the most and note maybe what you didn't reach for during this test period and don't put too much pressure on yourself and feel like you have to wear every single outfit just see what you naturally gravitate towards and take note of how you felt when you were wearing those outfits when you've decided that your test period is over I would say maybe a week or two it's time to analyze the outfits and the clothing items that you wore this is why it can be helpful to take pictures of some of your favorite outfits that you've worn throughout the week so that you can better remember them and really analyze them so once you have the pictures of your outfits try to pinpoint why you like them is it the style the fit the aesthetic the silhouette or the the colors the more familiar you get with what you like and what you don't like the closer you'll get to finding your personal style which you then can use to build out your dream closet of clothes that you feel resonates with your style and that you feel comfortable and confident in if you find it hard to analyze your outfits just like that with no directions start with writing down a likes and dislikes list because I find that putting it down in words can make it much easier to really understand your style and you can do this in your notes app and just write down everything that you like like and dislike about certain clothing items so for example just write down the reasons for why you reached for that certain top instead of the other top try to get really specific and then look over your list to find common themes so that you can narrow down your style a bit better then based on what you've written down how would you describe your style in three words for example maybe that you've written down that you like basics and neutral
neutral colors. Maybe one of the words to describe your style could be minimalistic, or maybe you've written down that you like oversized silhouettes. Then maybe one of your style words should be modern or edgy. Here's a list of a few different words that you can use to describe your style. Look through either your outfit pictures or your likes and dislikes list, and try to describe your style as best as you can. Now that you've gotten to know your style a bit better, it's time to find some inspiration so that you can build out the foundation of what you already have into your dream style that you aspire to have. Based on everything that you've analyzed by now, you should have a pretty good idea of what you actually wear in real life. So create a Pinterest board on Pinterest or a saved collection on Instagram and start collecting outfit pictures of outfits that you like and that aligns with your lifestyle and your personal style preferences, especially in terms of what silhouettes that you like, what fits, what colors, and so on. But now it's also the time to get creative and maybe find new additions that you can add to your wardrobe. So take your time and curate a specific and personalized collection of outfit photos. And don't be afraid to be very critical of the outfits that you see. Remember to regularly check back with your likes and dislikes list. Consider what part of your lifestyle these outfits can fit into your life and really filter away anything that doesn't align with the criteria that you have already set for yourself and your personal style. A good idea would also be to save photos of outfits that you like that are already including some clothing pieces that you already have. So for example, if you have a black blazer, you can look for other outfits that also include a black blazer and see what ways of styling it could actually fit with your style. I know that this step is not super concrete, but you really have to go with your gut feeling here and find a balance between what you want your style to be and what you're actually going to wear in real life. And I'm stressing this so much because we want to create a personal style and curate a wardrobe that has longevity with outfits that you can be sure that you're going to wear for a long time. And that means picking and choosing and narrowing it down. Even though there might be other things that you see and that you like, be honest with yourself. Is that a clothing item that you would actually rewear over and over again and still love? These are the most important questions that you need to ask yourself. Now, step number three is bringing your personal style to life. So even though it's great to utilize clothing items that you already have in your closet, chances are that you're watching this video because you're not really happy with what your current closet looks like and you don't feel like it reflects you in a way that you want it to. So first, before we start adding new pieces, I want you to declutter your entire wardrobe. It's definitely going to be a project, but you can take one portion at a time. So maybe one week you declutter all of your pants, then the other week you declutter all of your skirts, and the other week all of your tops. Get rid of everything that doesn't fit anymore and maybe things that you might not have remembered that you even had, things that you simply don't like anymore, and things that don't align with your new developed personal style. I really need to declutter my wardrobe again, but when I did it about a year ago, I went through my entire closet and everything that was an immediate no, I would resell or donate, but everything that was a maybe, I packed up in a box and put it in my basement just to test out if I would actually miss any of those clothing items before I got rid of them for good because I know that when you go through your closet you're gonna think oh maybe I'm gonna wear that one day or oh if I'm ever invited to a white party which I've never been invited to in my entire life before but maybe one day then I will need those white pants I know that you're going to make excuses as to why you actually don't need to get rid of anything because I know you and I were the same but this is the reason why you're watching this video in the first place you need to declutter your wardrobe so that you can see all of the clothing items that you actually wear more clearly and so that you can start building your new wardrobe where you're actually wearing everything in it. That's why for everything that's a maybe, pack it up in a box somewhere and revisit it in a month or two or three and see if you really missed any of those items. And if you did, maybe you can find a new place for them in your wardrobe again. But if you didn't, then you know that they gotta go. Once you have decluttered your whole wardrobe, you will have space to add new additions that align with your personal style, but we want to do this in a sustainable way, so really think about it as a long-term project. The worst thing that you can do is splurge and just buy a bunch of new clothes, because not only is this going to be expensive, but you're also not going to have time to adjust to your new style. You might find that over time you need to make some tweaks here and there as you get to know your personal style better, so we only want to add a few pieces at a time and be really thoughtful about what we add. So first I would suggest to set up a monthly shopping budget and as I said it's not just about saving money but it's also about becoming more intentional with your shopping purchases 
Because if you set a monthly budget, I find that you're much more likely to think twice about what you get and you'll rather save to invest in quality pieces that you really want instead of impulse shopping things that you just saw in the store or online. And if you don't know what your shopping budget should be in terms of money, you can also set a budget of only shopping one or two pieces a month. You know, just set any kind of restrictions that works for you so that your shopping habits can become more planned and intentional. Once you have your shopping budget, go back to your inspiration photos and look for clothing items, accessories, or shoes that are repeatedly worn within those outfits and specifically look for items that you don't already have yet. Write down maybe five to ten items that you see. So for example, if you see a trench coat being worn repeatedly in the outfits that you love and you don't already have that yet, then write that down. Or if you see a pair of beige office trousers and you don't have that yet, then write that down. Once you have a list of items that you feel would blend seamlessly with your current closet, you can now prioritize in what order you want to invest in these pieces. And then you're not only going to be one step closer to creating your dream closet, but you're also going to know exactly what to look for next time you shop. So it's all about creating a plan and sticking to that plan when you're curating your personal style. Now I know everything was pretty straight to the point in terms of this is what you should do, but it can be a tough exercise if you don't really know what you like and don't like but I hope that I have now given you some tools or tips into figuring that out however I also want to leave you with something that might make you feel a little bit more relieved especially if you're one of those people that struggle with identifying what your style is and maybe that's because your taste in things change from time to time or maybe you're really influenced by what's trending at the moment and your style preferences are a bit more fluid than just black and white. I specifically want you to remember this and that is that having a personal style doesn't mean that you need to keep your wardrobe the same forever. Actually you want a wardrobe that can evolve with you through changes in size, age and style preferences. That that's why I personally like to go by the 80-20 rule, where 80% of my closet is timeless classics and basics, and the other 20% is a few selectively incorporated trends. So basically the majority of your closet should be timeless core pieces that you know you're going to wear for a long time, but then you can have a small portion of your closet that you can update from time to time to keep your outfits fun, fresh, and up to date. I would recommend to only focus on a few key additions each season, so that could include a statement piece, a new color or an updated accessory. This will give you room to experiment with new styles, keeping up with trends if that's something that you like to do. And who knows, maybe some of these pieces end up becoming core staple pieces in your wardrobe. But if not, you also have the opportunity to declutter your 20% maybe once a year and update this portion of your closet with new styles that you love. This is why I also always advocate for quality over quantity because you have it much easier to resell and donate anything that you don't want anymore. And of course, of course, it's also really important to be responsible and develop as sustainable shopping habits as possible. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you like this video and follow my socials linked below for daily fashion inspiration and see you in the next video. Bye!